hello uh, greetings of uh, greetings of the day uh, myself uh, dr r prithivirajan working as a associate professor department of mechanical engineering madanapalli institute of madanapalli institute of technology and uh, technology and the science madanapalli anamaya district andhra pradesh i welcome you all for the today lecture the topic on hybrid electrical vehicle as uh, as you know Uh, today electrical uh, electrical vehicle and the hybrid electrical vehicle are very popular in the last uh, 10 years uh, so many uh, so many people and so many customers uh, moving towards from ic engine to electrical vehicle uh, because of the better advantage and the few drop few drawbacks are there so in the uh, in the today lecture we can see that these are the topics we can uh, cover that is the flow of presentation we can discuss about the introduction to hybrid electrical vehicle and we can discuss about uh, various conf various configuration of hybrid electrical uh, vehicle and what are the flow control that affect the hybrid vehicle and what are the constraints we got to think about in the hybrid electrical vehicle these are the points and configurations we can discuss in the today lecture so when coming to the introduction when coming to the introduction of hybrid electrical uh, vehicle when you incorporating the internal combustion engine and electrical uh, motor then the vehicle is called as the hybrid electrical vehicle the incorporation of ic in incorporation of ic engine and ev that that vehicle is called as the hybrid electrical vehicle so as you know uh, the hv uh, hv technology hv technique that is not uh, new the first patent uh, first patent was filed by piper in 1905 and later so many patent filed on the hcb technology different con different configurations different accelerations on ic ev and ev that is developed by the so many scientists and so many com uh, uh, companies so in uh, basically you try to understand what is hcv in hcv we having a two propulsion energy so in uh, at least in hcv we having a two propulsion energy for example one from the uh, one from the one from the ic engine we get the mechanical power and other power we can other power we can get from the electrical uh, energy so basically the uh, basically hcv is the hcv using a two at least two propulsion en uh, energy two or more propulsion en energy one from the ic engine or one from ic engine and another from the electrical e energy then two or more there is no concern only two ic engine and electrical energy there are uh, two or more so there are the lot of definition uh, based on the hcv and many type and many types of hcv available currently here uh, petrol uh, petrol internal combustion and battery system that is uh, one of the popular system in india and uh, abroad so so many so many vehicles in the so many vehicles you can find in the hybrid electrical vehicle that is the concept petrol uh, petrol based or diesel based internal combustion engine plus battery another the another one another one is the battery and fuel system the battery and fuel system that is not popular in india in the abroad one of the one or two companies they are developing the battery and fuel based system the another and the another concept is the battery and capacitor that is not that popular in the hybrid electrical vehicle the another system is the battery and flywheel and last one is the we can use more we can use the more number of the battery system for example L, uh, led acid bat led acid battery is the first kind of the battery the another one is the advanced level of the battery that is the another battery system that is called as the battery and battery hybrid system so these are the various configurations available in the hybrid electrical uh, vehicle the most popular and most used technology is the petrol based internal combustion engine and battery so that uh, that is the the system is called as the hybrid uh, hybrid electrical vehicle so before going to discuss about the electrical vehicle and hybrid electrical vehicle just i will touch up the few things in the internal combustion engine as you know in the internal combustion uh, engine in the heart of the vehicle is the ic uh, ic engine that is the internal combustion engine and followed by uh, we have the we have the clutch box uh, we have the gear box then we have the transmission system then we have the coupling devices then we have the differential system through the differential system the power transmitted to the wheel so this is the conventional internal combustion engine uh, system the most of the cars most of the bikes most of the buses you can find uh, this system so in the internal combustion system uh, we having the we have the internal combustion engine engine here then we have the ecm 
ECM that is electronic control board we have. Then we here we have the clutch box. Then here we have the uh, gear box. Then here we have the differential system. Then the power transmitted to the both. Then the power transmitted to the uh, uh, both wheels. Then here we have the fuel pump. Then we have the exhaust system. So this, this is the complete arrangement of the internal combustion engine. That is not a new one. That is the internal combustion based vehicle. When you coming to the electrical vehicle, in the electrical vehicle, the motor replacing the engine. That is the major difference here. In the electrical vehicle, the motor, uh, the motor replacing the electrical vehicle. That is the major differences in the electrical vehicle. So here we have uh, here the art of the system is the electrical. We have the electrical motor. Then we have the then we have the we have the battery. Then we have the transmission system. Then we having the charging point here. Then we have the motor. That motor is called as the tra traction motor. That motor is called as the electric uh, traction motor. Then followed by we have the clutch. In some of the cases we have the clutch box. Then we have the gear box. In some of the cases we are preferring the automatic uh, gear box. Then the power transmitted to the uh, uh, wheel. So this is how the electrical vehicle uh, moves nowadays. So here you can see here in the flow chart. Here we having the energy storage. That is the complete battery uh, pack up. Then we have the traction motor. That is the electric uh, motor, DC motor or AC uh, motor. Then here we having the coupling uh, devices. Then we have the clutch box. Then we have the gear box. So, th so through this uh, transmission uh, devices and through this coupling devices, then we can transmit the power to the wheel. This is how the electrical vehicle works. This is how the electrical vehicle moves in the current uh, scenario. So today our uh, lecture, uh, today our uh, motto to discuss a lot about the hybrid electrical, uh, hybrid electrical vehicle. In the hybrid electrical vehicle, I said already we have the two, uh, two system. One is uh, one is based on the conventional system, that is the internal combustion engine based uh, system. In the another system uh, that is uh, another system that is the electrical uh, electrical vehicle system. So this combination of this internal combustion engine system and the electrical vehicle system that is called as the hybrid electrical vehicle the technology is called as the hybrid electrical vehicle so in the hybrid electrical in the hybrid electrical uh, vehicle you, here you can see we have the spark ignited spark ignited engine simply we can say internal combustion uh, internal combustion uh, engine then we here we have the fuel here we have the fuel uh, filter here we have the near the near the engine uh, we have the motor that is called the electric traction motor then here we have the gen, uh, gen, generator then we have transmission uh, system for charging we have onboard uh, charger then here we having the battery uh, packup that is very important uh, we here we have the battery packup so that is used to charge that is used to charge the battery so different configurations we have that we can see in the upcoming slides we have the different configurations based on the battery and based on the propulsion system we have the different uh, config configurations so here in the flow chart you can see here in the we have the internal combustion engine we have then we have followed by the transmission followed by the coupling devices then the power transmitted to the wheels that is the ic engine based system then here we have the electric generator here we have the energy storage that is the battery then we have the electric and uh, machine drive that is the ac motor or dc motor that is the traction motor then here we have the coupling devices through this coupling devices we can transmit the power to the wheel so today our main objective uh, to discuss more about the hybrid electrical vehicle just for a glance i discussed about the internal combustion engine for understanding the ic engine and for understanding the electrical vehicle just i gave you a glance on the electrical vehicle and hybrid uh, and the internal combustion engine now we can see about uh, today our motto is the to discuss about the hybrid electrical vehicle as you know the hybrid electrical vehicle is the combination of the internal combustion engine system under the electrical vehicle system that is called the hybrid electrical uh, vehicle so you can see here in the flow chart so in the uh, we have the internal combustion engine we have then we have transmission system then we have coupling devices uh, through this transmission system and the coupling devices from the engine we can transmit the power to the wheel that is the ic engine system on the other side we have the generator we have the electric generator we have the energy storage that is the battery setup we have uh, uh, electric machine center drives that is the ac motor or dc motor then we have the transmission devices and we have the 
coupling devices followed uh, then we can transfer the power to the wheels so this is how the power train this is how the hybrid electrical vehicle power train works when you see the actual uh, view of the car here we uh, here we have the spark ignition engine simply we can say internal combustion engine ic engine then here uh, we have the here we have the motor here we have the converters for dc to uh, dc or ac to dc converter uh, we have then we have the cooling system thermal cooling system we have then here we have the battery backup then here we have the onboard charging system for charging the uh, battery then followed uh, followed by here we have the complete traction battery backup then we have the diesel tank or we have the petrol tank then here we have the fuel filter then we have the differential system then the power transmitted to the wheel this is how the hybrid electrical vehicle works so please try to understand the hybrid electrical vehicle is the combination of the ic internal combustion engine and the electrical vehicle that is called the hybrid electrical vehicle so there is a, a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, advantage and features and the little drawbacks behind the hybrid electrical uh, vehicle you can see the here in the front portion of the car here we have the engine and the motor you, you can see here this is the engine and the motor we have then we have the petrol uh, uh, here we have the petrol tank that is our fuel tank and the back side of the car we have the uh, battery especially in the back seat near the back seat we have the uh, battery that battery we can charge even though with the, even though in the home electricity we can charge the battery that is the over of the system here so these are the these are the car they implemented the hv system these are the uh, uh, volt clarity and the precise prime in the, they implemented the hv uh, technology so we are here we are getting electricity with the help of the battery with the help of the battery charging how we are charging the battery with the help of the plug system with the help of the basic plug system in the home we are charge we are charging the uh, battery so here in the in the engine in the engine will get to the uh, will get to the power based on the gasoline based on the petrol the engine will get to the power when the engine get to the power simultaneously the battery also get uh, get charged when the battery get charged then the battery capable for giving the power to the electrical motor then the electrical motor will uh, works so this is how the uh, this is how the benefits are these are the features of the hybrid uh, hybrid electrical vehicle so the major the, there are the major advantages of the ele uh, hybrid electrical vehicle we can uh, we can reduce the fuel cost as you can we can uh, we can reduce the uh, fuel cost on the other side drastically we can reduce the emission because we are in, we are here we are incorporating electrical motor so because of incorporation of the electrical motor we can reduce the power we can uh, reduce the emission that is the major advantages of the hybrid electrical hybrid uh, vehicle now another benefit of the hybrid electrical vehicle we can go for the long driving we can go for the long driving range for example the major drawback in the electrical vehicle system we can go up to 200 system uh, 200 km or for, for charging we can travel 200 km or 250 km nowadays a lot of technology is there up to 400 up to 350 we can go but in the conventional system we can go up to 200 km per charging that is the major advantages of the electrical vehicle system but in hybrid electrical vehicle system because of this combination we can go for the long driving uh, uh, range that is the major advantage of hybrid electrical vehicle the another system is the versatile fuel source so depend upon the need we can use the internal combustion engine based power we can use the ic engine transmission system or if we comfort with the electrical vehicle system we can move to ev mode so these are the two options we can find in the vehicle so ic engine mode and electrical vehicle mode so whenever uh, whenever in the different area different cities or different area we need the ic engine based uh, power or we need the ev mode then we can shift into ev mode into ic engine mode or we can move into ic engine uh, mode into ev mode so these are the uh, benefits of the hybrid electrical vehicle we can go we can cover the long range we can reduce the uh, emission these are the major advantages of the hybrid electrical vehicle when you if any system as you know there is advantage there is a drawbacks there is a limitation we can see here disadvantage here in the major disadvantage here is the maintenance because here we are incorporating two system one is the engine based system another one is the electrical vehicle system so we have to maintain the 
IC engine as well as you got to maintain the electrical vehicle. That is the one problem. That is the more uh, that is the more maintenance. So one vehicle for the IC engine, the another charging for the battery. So we got to use the two uh, vehicles for the uh, uh, two system. But here in the, in the another and uh, here in the another uh, another another uh, drawbacks. The frequently after the five years, uh, after the five years or uh, six years, there is a possibility we got to replace the battery. When you're replacing the battery, then we got to spend a lot of money on the battery. That is another problem with the hybrid electrical vehicle. But when compared to the electrical uh, vehicle, the hybrid electrical vehicle having the more advantage and and having the less uh, disadvantage. So that is the advantage and the drawbacks of the hybrid electrical vehicle. So next we will uh, move to the different config uh, configurations. So like in the IC engine, uh, IC engine we have the petrol based system, we have the diesel based system, we have the gas based uh, system. Some of the people are running the car with the biodiesel. Like that we are having the different configurations on the IC engine. Similarly, in the hybrid electrical uh, uh, vehicle, uh, we have the different uh, different configurations. So the major uh, the the, uh, the major benefit in the hybrid electrical vehicle, as we discussed in the last slide, that there is a less polluting. That is a less polluting under the less fuel consumption because here the motor is supporting, here the battery is supporting. That is the reason that is the less fuel consumption because of the EV support. That is the uh, less uh, polluting. But the major key drawbacks in the HEV system that is the loss of the zero emission concept. Here practically that is not possible because the major power supported in the HEV, uh, HEV system that is by the IC engine. So because of this IC engine, we cannot come to zero power trans, uh, zero uh, zero emission uh, concept. Here, hundred percent, we are using the electrical vehicle. There is a possibility of the zero emission concept. Here, the eighty percent of the power supplied by the IC engine, twenty percent of the power supplied by the electrical vehicle. That is the reason there is no chance for the loss of the zero emission. Uh, emission co uh, concept but uh, when compared to the pure ic engine system in the hybrid electrical vehicle we can go for the long uh, we can go for the long range for example you can uh, we, instead of in the some of the some of the vehicles you can expect one liter 20 km uh, per liter we can move 20 kilometers when incorporating the ev system we can go for the 23 kilometers or uh, 23 kilometers easily we can achieve that is the major benefit of the HEV uh, uh, HEV system that is the most efficient mode. When uh, compared to the IC engine, HEV is the most uh, efficient mode, yielding low emissions and low uh, fuel uh, consumption. So these are the over overview of the hybrid electrical vehicle configuration. Hybrid electrical vehicle configurations. Next, we can uh, discuss the uh, what are the various types. Uh, what are the various types of the HEV configurations? So basically. Uh, conventionally, they developed a uh, two system. Conventionally, around uh, 1900, around 1900, they developed a two system. One is the serious hybrid HEV, another one is the parallel hybrid HEV. Around uh, 2000, uh, around uh, 1995 or around 2000, uh, they developed another two system. That is the serious parallel hybrid system, and the latest one is the complex hybrid system. So these are the four classifications of the HEV system: series hybrid, parallel hybrid, series parallel hybrid, and complex hybrid. So in the upcoming slides, uh, we can cover one by one. So first, uh, we can uh, discuss about the series uh, hybrid HEV system. Before going to discuss about the series hybrid system, we got to understand the three uh, link we are using. We are using the three uh, three link. As I said already, we are using two system. In the HEV, we are using two system. One is based on the engine, another one is based on the electric motor. For the reason, here we are having the three link. Uh, one, first one is the electrical uh, link, second one is the hydraulic link, and third one is the mechanical link. So in the link, the electrical link and the mechanical link, that is the bidirectional link. Then the, this hydraulic link, that is the unidirectional uh, link. So first, uh, next we can, uh, we can discuss about all the configurations one by one. First system, we have the series, uh, series hybrid system. So this is the one of the simple system, in the hybrid electrical vehicle. This is the one of the simple, uh, sim simple system. Here we have the fuel tank, petrol tank. Here we have the IC engine. The IC engine powered by the uh, powered by the uh, petrol. Then here we have the generator. We have the electric generator. 
here in the other side we have the uh, here we have the battery different types of the battery available now today here we have the battery then we have the power converter then we have the electric motor finally we having the transmission devices from the transmission devices the power transmitted to the uh, wheels so from the uh, from the uh, from the tank the ic engine get to the fuel then the ic engine produces the mechanical power so using this mechanical power then we can uh, operate the gen generator that is generator that produces the electrical uh, electrical power using that electrical using that electrical uh, power that we can charge the charge the uh, battery for some time then this power transmitted to the electrical uh, electrical uh, motor so please try to understand the basic power need for the hc series hybrid system that power developed by the ic engine so through this uh, power we can operate the generator then we can operate the electrical motor so in the hcv configurations uh, we have the four system in the last slide we discussed it we'll move to one by one so first we can uh, discuss about the series hybrid system before that we have to understand the three system here three uh, three link here one uh, one is the electrical link another one is the hydraulic link and third one is the mechanical link here the electrical link and the mechanical link that is the unidirectional then the hydraulic link that is the bidirectional so in the series hybrid system uh, we have the ic engine uh, that is powered by the fuel tank that is petrol then this ic engine uh, produces the mechanical power that power used to do, uh, used in the generator that the generator uh, that in the generator again the power come to the power converter then the power converter then give power to the electrical motor then electrical motor produces the uh, power that power through some transmission devices and coupling devices then the power transmitted to the uh, wheels for example in the 80 the, the power developed by the ic engine around for example 100 percentage in the 100 percentage the 80 percentage of the uh, power used for uh, used for the transmission and 20 percentage of the power utilized for charging the utilized for charging the uh, battery so this system is the series hybrid system among the four system among the four type of the hev series hybrid system is the one of the simple uh, one of the simple system in the series hybrid system uh, if, if you want if in the design if you want you can skip the clutch box or you can skip the uh, gear box then you can go for the automatic power transmission so these are the benefits of the series hybrid system so we can accommodate easily so we can accommodate the ic engine we can accommodate the electrical motor we can accommodate very easily that is the benefit of the series hybrid uh, system so in the next system that is the parallel hybrid system that is the parallel hybrid system again we have the fuel tank we have the ic engine uh, system in the other side we have the battery backup we have the battery some type of the battery for example lead acid uh, battery ir lithium metal battery different types of battery available battery then we have the power uh, converter so directly we cannot get the battery uh, we, we cannot transfer the power from battery to electrical motor then we have to do some power conversion after the power conversion the power goes to the electrical uh, uh, motor then the power through some coupling devices through some transmission devices then the power transmitted to the uh, uh, wheels so here from the ic engine the power transmitted to the wheels from the ev from the e electrical motor side the power transmitted to the uh, wheels then the system is called as the parallel hybrid system the system is called as the parallel hybrid system so some power here the majority of the power delivered by the ic engine a uh, little bit little support provided by the electrical motor side that is the parallel hybrid uh, system so next the third uh, type of the uh, configurations that is the serious parallel hybrid configurations the, the, the main uh, motto the main purpose here the main objective here to improve again to improve the fuel efficiency again to improve the um, better driving range they implemented the they developed the serious par parallel system around 1995 or 2000 they developed a serious parallel hybrid system here again we have fuel system ic engine we have generator we have then power converter we have battery then electrical uh, electrical motor here we have so here what is the major difference here the what are the power developed by the ic engine that power used to uh, that power delivered to the wheel that uh, that that is the 100 percentage if the ic engine produces the more power if the ic engine deliver the more expected power that power uh, through the generator that is charging the uh, battery for example i need the 90 i need the 90 percentage of the power 
so that 90 percentage of the power transmitted to the transmission devices then if the 100 percent is produced the remaining 10 percentage of the power that is used to uh, through generator that is used to charge the battery if the battery charged through the power converter then the then uh, that power will operate the motor that motor produces the electrical uh, electrical energy that energy that is transmitted to the uh, wheels so here you can see the one side power supported by the ic engine ic engine based system and the another side the power supported by the electrical uh, vehicle that system is called as the serious parallel hybrid system that is called the serious hybrid parallel system so for example if you if you uh, driving if you driving in the uh, uh, if you driving in the highways you can drive in the ic engine mode or you can drive in the electrical vehicle uh, mode for example when you driving in the urban areas or when you driving in the any 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 city traffic area then what happen the engine produces the excess uh, power when the engine produces the excess uh, uh, power then uh, the generator will absorb the power the absorbed power used to charge the battery then the battery produces the power to the electrical motor then the electrical uh, motor will move the uh, uh, vehicle so whenever the need whenever the need whenever the support need from the uh, hev side you can prefer the ic engine mode or you can prefer the ev mode then the configuration is called as the serious parallel hybrid system when compared to the serious system and compared to the parallel system then in the serious parallel system then we have the better advantage so when uh, the combination of the serious hybrid system under the parallel hybrid system that system is called as the serious parallel hybrid system so the last configuration uh, last two configurations that is the complex hybrid uh, conf configurations in the name itself we have the meaning we have the complex uh, system here because here we are using more than two motors here you can see here here we are using one motor here we are using another motor here we are using another uh, uh, motor that is the reason the, the arrangement the arrangement of the all the motors and the seating of the all the uh, motors and the transmitting the power to uh, and transmitting the power to the transmission devices these are the things makes little bit complica complications that's why the system is called as the complex hybrid system when compared when compared to the serious system parallel system and the serious parallel system the complex hybrid system produces the better uh, features you can see here here we have the ic engine that produces the power through that power we can transmit the uh, transmit the power i saw I, I, I said already whenever the engine produces the greater whenever engine produces the greater power that greater uh, using that power we can uh, we can operate the electrical motor using that uh, electrical motor using the another motor we can charge the battery so what happen the 90 percentage of the power transmitted to the wheels the remaining 10 percentage or 20 percentage that is used to run the electrical motor electrical motor this electrical motor act as the generator that is the beauty here that electrical motor that act as the generator that the generator will operate the it will run the electrical motor then this electrical motor charging the battery if the battery get charged then the power transmitted to the electrical motor then this power transmitted to the wheel so here you can see, see here through this uh, through, through this channel we can transmit uh, some amount of the power through this channel we can transmit a uh, little bit amount of the power that system is called as the complex hybrid complex hybrid system but one of the drawbacks in the complex hybrid system the accommodation of the electrical uh, electrical motors under the battery that is more complications so then we got to provide a lot of spaces for the generators then we got to provide separate spaces for the uh, two three uh, motors that will make the compli uh, complications so apart from this uh, limitations then we have a lot of fe uh, features then we can get to the long driving uh, range then again we can reduce the emission so these are the benefits of the complex hybrid system i hope you understand so far we discussed the four hev configurations serious parallel serious parallel and the complex hybrid so next uh, we'll move to uh, power power flow control in the hev uh, in the hev uh, system we have to understand the power uh, flow control why i am telling in the hev configurations we are varying the depend upon the road conditions or depend upon the scenario we are changing the different we are changing the different powers we are, basically we are using two powers one is based on the ic engine power another one is based on the ev power so we are using the two configurations so because of these variations in the hev configurations we need the different control strategy 
if you don't go different control strategy uh, we cannot we cannot get to the maximum fuel uh, economy we cannot reduce the emission we cannot minimize the emis emission overall we can reduce the co uh, cost the driver cannot feel the better driving performance so because of this uh, reasons because of this four goal uh, we are uh, we are implement we are discussing about the power uh, power flow control so because of this uh, four reasons maximum fuel economy emissions minimizing the cost and the good uh, driving uh, per uh, performance so these are the strategy we got to understand we got to uh, look while designing the hgv system the first strategy the optimal ic engine operating point as you know when the uh, when the vehicle moving at uh, 100 km uh, 100 km uh, 100 km uh, 100 km per hour or to, uh, 120 km per hour then what happen uh, what happen obviously the fuel efficiency then mechanical efficiency or the engine efficiency will come down for example we can get uh, in some of the cases we can get uh, 15 km per liter or we can get a uh, 12 km per uh, uh, liter when you operating the when you operating the vehicle at uh, uh, optimal torque when operating the vehicle at the optimum uh, torque uh, optimum torque speed then what will happen we can get we can maximize the fuel economy when you maximize the fuel economy obviously what will happen obviously what will happen the cost of the cost of the vehicle will uh, will in increases so what is our target we got to operate the vehicle at uh, optimal operating uh, conditions that is the optimum operating uh, point if you if you move the vehicle if you run the vehicle at oper uh, it, uh, ic engine operating line we can get to the better torque we can get to the different power so depend upon the road conditions or depend upon the scenario we need the we need the more power or we need the less power or we need the optimal power from this optimal line we can get to the better torque we can get some of the especially during the climbing the hills or in the highways you can get to the better power when you're operating at the optimal ic engine operating uh, line in some of the cases we need the target we, we need the vehicle dynamics in some of the cases we got to look into the vehicle dynamics that is the minimum ic engine dynamics in the minimum ic engine uh, dynamics what happened some of the cases we have the more fluctuation we have the uh, more fluctuations sometimes the more mechanical power fluctuations or the more electrical power fluctuations in that in that situation if you focus more on the vehicle uh, dynamics then we can avoid this kind of the fluctuations that that's minimizing the ic engine uh, dynamics next strategy minimum uh, ic engine uh, f uh, minimum ic engine speed when the engine operated operated at a low speed for example in the first gear or second gear when you engine operated at a low speed then what will happen the, as you know the fuel efficiency is uh, fuel efficiency is very low when the fuel efficiency is ve uh, very low then wh what happen they will make some setup they'll make some arrangement they'll pop some sensors then the engine sh uh, in the engine will, will get off that is called the threshold value when the speed is below the threshold value or threshold point then the ic engine get uh, cut off that is called the minimum ic engine speed what is the reason to increase the efficiency to reduce the emission to increase the efficiency that that strategy is the minimum ic engine uh, speed so here you can see the diagram here that is the optimal operating line on the ic engine fuel this is the fuel consumption map in the x axis we have the ic engine speed in terms of the rpm revolution per minute then here we have the torque in terms of the newton um, uh, meter that is the y axis so you can see this is the optimal operating line so in this condition in this uh, in this torque condition in this uh, torque condition or in this rpm in this torque conditions or in this rpm if you run the vehicle if you operate the uh, if you operate the uh, vehicle then we can get to the better fuel we can get to the better fuel economy we can reduce the e emission that is called the optimal operating line around uh, around uh, around this value or around this speed around uh, 3500 rpm 3000 to 4000 rpm if you operate the vehicle we can get to the better uh, we can get to this much torque here as well as we can get to the maximum fuel economy we can reduce the uh, emission that condition that strategy that is called as the optimal operating line on the ic uh, engine 
so in the another in the another and the another strategy here the most of the uh, most of the uh, people whenever they getting the opportunity when there were the more traffic the driver or the passenger he will what he will do he will switch off the engine he will switch off the uh, vehicle after 2 minutes or 1 minute again he will switch on the engine after 15 minutes again he will switch off the uh, engine so continuous if, if frequently if you turn on or turn off the engine that will affect the fuel economy why what is the reason that fuel consumption is more as you know when you starting the engine or when you switch off when you turn off the when you turn on the engine it will consume more fuel so frequently if you turn off and turn on the engine that uh, that will leads to additional fuel consumption that that is the possibility of the uh, more uh, uh, more uh, emission so to avoid such drawbacks to avoid such condition minimum turn on on time should be set to avoid such kind of the difficulties or such kind of the drawbacks the another strategy in the power flow control the proper battery capacity the proper battery uh, capacity so here we are in the hev system we are using we are using motor if we have the electrical motor definitely we have the uh, battery backup we have the uh, uh, battery so if you not providing the sufficient power if you not providing sufficient power during the acceleration we cannot move the vehicle comfortably so during the acceleration sir when we need the more power the engine or electrical motor has to provide the sufficient power that is the main motto of the vehicle that is the main objective of the uh, uh, vehicle so when the battery capacity is too uh, when the battery capacity is too high then what happen what the what do you, what do you mean the battery get charged completely that means under percentage battery get charged that time what uh, that time what happen the ic engine should be turned off then we can operate the vehicle when we can operate the vehicle with the electrical uh, ev mode then what uh, then what happen that time we can save the fuel that time we can save the fuel cost when the battery capacity is low when the battery capacity is uh, is low then what happen then you can start to the then you can switch on the charging the uh, battery then you can operate the vehicle with ic engine then you can switch off the ev mode then the battery get charged so what i am telling so depend upon the conditions so depend upon the area depend upon the area area you can use the ic engine uh, mode or you can use the electrical vehicle uh, hybrid electrical vehicle mode that combination is called as the hev uh, hev uh, system so when the ic engine produces more uh, more power or greater power or regenerative power especially during the braking or during the down kill whenever producing the more uh, power then we have uh, then they will absorb the power that power used to, that power used for charging the battery that is the proper battery capacity so next constraint that is the uh, safety battery voltage as you know for mobile charging if you are charging the mobile for longer time the mobile get heated similarly in the electrical vehicle if you ch if you are ch charging more time it leads to over voltage or if you are charging for less time that is the possibility of the under voltage that will affect the battery performance that will affect the uh, battery so the over charging also over charging also problem the under the charging also problem that will affect the battery permanently so that we got to while while driving or while de while designing the battery that we got to consider the safety battery uh, uh, voltage the another uh, the another strategy relative transmission there is a proper there is a proper uh, power distribution with the proper power distribution between the ic engine system and the uh, under the battery then we can get to the better driving uh, comfort the uh, around the clock if you run with the uh, ic engine system there is no need for the hev car so depend upon the condition if you moving with the hev system depend upon the situation if you moving with the uh, ev system we can we can get to the better fuel efficiency we can get to the better mileage we can get to the better uh, performance so th that is called the relative distribution so the power has to be distributed properly then only ic engine also will produce the optimal power the battery also produces the optimal uh, power the another next strategy the graphic uh, geographical uh, policy in the certain uh, certain cities like uh, in the urban cities or wherever the more traffic or more in some of the uh, some of the area they will prefer the pure electric mode some of the cases they prefer the uh, pure electrical mode so that change over facility available in the hev system the change over facility you can change into hev system or you can change into ev system through manually or automatically we can convert from hev to ev or you can convert from ev to hev that we can done with the help of the manually or automatically so that is the 
that is the system here so i'll conclude the lecture here so in the today uh, lecture so we discussed a lot about the uh, hev system so uh, basically you know hev is the combine hev is the combination of the internal combustion engine under the battery that uh, that is under the battery that is called the hev system so basically the hev system they will use two or more kind of the power one is one is from the ic engine another one is from the battery they will use two or more kind of the energy among the two energy one of the one of the one of the uh, one of the system that has to give the deliver the electrical energy so that is the basic concept of the hybrid electrical uh, vehicle so you, you can see the merit here in the merit here we can uh, we, we can move the vehicle at the most efficient mode we can reduce the emission we can reduce the uh, fuel consumption these are the benefit of the hev uh, system when compared to the electrical even compared to the electrical vehicle system and we discussed a uh, different strategy we we discussed different techniques on the hev uh, configurations the the main reason behind the hev configurations to control the to control the power flow control if you if you do proper power control flow then if you do proper regulation we can improve the efficiency that is the reason we are moving to, uh, we are discussing lot on the hev uh, configurations i hope you understood the uh, today uh, lecture you, und you understood the fundamentals of the hev uh, system a different strategy a different configurations series system parallel system these are the systems we discussed in the today uh, lecture so these are the reference i cite i cited i studied lot i got more idea on the uh, reference so in the uh, cc shan and the kt uh, sha modern electrical technology we can get a lot of informations you can get a lot of fundamental informations it deeply you can get more informations on the electrical vehicle technology under the hybrid electrical uh, technology in the electrical vehicle and hybrid vehicle design we can understood lot of designs a lot of design factors how to design the motor how to design the battery that we can understand from the references for my uh, preparation of the talk i referred uh, to uh, two books so thank you for your patience uh, thank you for the uh, listening thank you so much have a nice day